went down 0-2. I'm going to call you out here to the Suns. You called the Bucks the dumbest team in finals history. And since you said that to me on this show, they've won three straight and are a game away from the chip. So what do you attribute that turnaround to? Huh, hold on, Will. Hold on, Will. Look, I know you've been doing a great job on Good Morning oh. America, but why you got to bring up <laughs> old stuff? Why you got to bring up old stuff? And dude. I did say, you, you, you know what? You're right. You're right. You're absolutely right. And guess what? They have turned things around. And the two people that turned things around are they two others of the big three, Chris Middleton and Drew Holiday, right? You look at Chris Middleton and watch how he's been dominating in great fashion, making timely shots and possessions when, the, when it matters the most, when it comes down to a possession-by-possession possession game. Drew Holiday finally came to the party offensively in game five. Having 27 points, dishing out 13 assists. We already know what he was doing on the defensive side of things, but now the other two has stepped into up to the plate, and that has been the key to the turnarounds and the turnaround for the Bucks and their success in this series. Perk, don't get it twisted. I'm giving you credit. You call the Bucks dumb, they win three straight. So, on behalf mm -hmm. of all the people in Phoenix, do you want to call the Sun something and see if they can rally off of it? Well, you know what? I'm not gonna even stoop that low again. I'ma say this. I'ma shot I'ma go I'ma throw a shot at their leader, okay? CP3 needs CPR. He has to wake the hell up. And I'm not talking about from a number standpoint, right? I'm talking about him as being a leader, bringing that tenacity. We already know in his sleep he could get you 20 and 10. We get that. But I haven't seen the same sense of urgency, L. And when you look at CP3, you talk about these young Phoenix sons and their core of, the, of this group. They follow CP3. We heard DeAndre Ayton in the interview throughout these playoffs say the best thing happened for his career was CP3 coming to Phoenix because he put that dog into him. He installed that killer mentality. And right now, CP3 is not showing us that he's a killer. Perkisms are becoming one of my favorite parts of oh, the show. Yeah. If you decide you don't want to do this anymore, you could just write newspaper headlines. CP3 mm. needs CPR. Mm. You know mm -hmm. what, Perk? <laughs> you that's got why, him smiling too. That's right? why yeah. you can't have nice things. Thank you for joining us here on Sports Center. Break down a pivotal game six in the NBA Finals. You know. Appreciate you, yeah. Cute design. <laughs> the ever popular, by the way, Deer District is about to get even more crowded tomorrow night ahead of Game Six because the Bucks have announced that up to 65,000 fans will be able to file into what? the watch party. Where is this? That is more than double the usual full capacity. How are they doing this? This is not rhetorical. What is happening? By the way, if you want to know the odds, right, to figure out how you should bet this thing, Caesars William Hill has the Bucks a five-point favorite to win game six. You like that, Kevin? Uh, I like taking the Suns uh, plus five, but I think the Bucks will win. Yeah, a winning bet on the Suns' money line right now, if you decided to go that route, would return you 175 bucks for every 100 wagered. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.